So hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk all about the interview experience for Nielsen Media, which is a company under Nielsen, but it's different from Nielsen IQ. So we are going to discuss all in detail about this company, and you will not find the interview experience for this company on YouTube right now. At least I searched and I did not find. So for that we have with us Shivam Parikh, who recently got an offer from Nielsen Media. So hello Shivam, welcome to the channel. Hello, hello Amisha. Yeah, so a bit about Shivam. Uh, he's basically a 2025 Bits Goa graduate, and he graduated in Tripoli. E. So, and he's recently gotten this offer, and he was the one who contacted me, and he said that he did not find any interview experiences. So he would like to share his experience. So thank you so much, Shivam, for that. And before this, he has also interned in a US-based startup called Portkey AI. So with that. Uh, Let's dive right into the video. So, first of all, Shivam, you know, can you tell a little bit about this company because I don't think a lot of people are familiar with yeah. it. MNC, a startup, what is it? Okay. So, Nielsen Media is actually, uh, like, as far as I know, an audience measurement company. So, what they do is like they uh, they tell you the demographics, uh, ki apke videos kaun dekh rahe, the age group, and for how long people are watching it and viewing it. So, and then they sell this data to companies. What are the perks etc if you know and where is your where is this office located so the office i think they have uh, they bought this uh, new office in whitefield uh, it's in the cygnus tower 2 uh, bangalore which was earlier the in orbit mall and one more office is there in uh, prestige shantiniketan talking about perks you get free pick up and drop you get food <laughs> that's all you have been offered an mts1 role right so is yeah. it similar to sg1 uh, for other companies Yes, yeah, so I think uh, under MTS one, uh, both data engineers and software developers uh, are there because they came for both of these roles. And during the interviews only, they somehow I I feel uh, sorted people like whom to put under software and whom to put under data engineer. Okay. I'm not very sure about it. How did you apply? Was it on campus or off campus? Uh, it was on campus. Uh, there's this like uh, I think this was the second or third company which came for placements in the second semester, second semester of fourth year. Okay, that okay. was in Jan. Got it. That's called the eight semester. Yeah, right? yeah the eight semester. Yeah, exactly. The chill semester. So, can you tell like the process? So, uh, what all rounds etc were there? Uh, so there were three rounds. The first round uh, had this test where there were twenty MCQs. Uh, so majorly they were from SQL and some operating system, and then two coding question in that test round only. One was from binary search, and I guess one was from a linked list. Then, uh, the first round of interview, uh, they had two medium level lead code questions. Uh, they asked me one of binary search on answers, and uh, one on buy sell stocks. Uh, you can find both of them in Striver's SD sheet. And uh, then he, you know, uh, like if you put your resume in ChatGPT, then it will give you some very generic uh, interview questions. So two, three questions from there only, like what is authorization, authentication, differences, uh, why did you use NoSQL in your uh, uh, this project's database, and why not SQL? And uh, immediately the questions were around my DSA skills and some questions, like very, very easy questions on my resume. And then I got selected for the next round. The next round was the final round. So how many rounds were there in total? Online assessment and how many rounds? And two rounds. So let's dive into each round. Uh, so first of all, online assessment, you said uh, there are 20 questions from OS, DBM, et cetera. So can you tell a little bit more like uh, what kind of questions, what was with the difficulty, et cetera? So for OS, I would say uh, there were easy questions. Like you just have to have some idea of OS, what is threading, uh, processing, and uh, SQL, very basic select query questions and uh, some basic asset properties, if you remember, uh, you you are good to go. And then the two DSA questions were also uh, medium level questions, but they were not that difficult. So were they like standard uh, questions or? Yeah, yeah, standard questions only. You don't need to have any like a competitive programming background for that. One was from mind research, one was from linguist, right? Yeah. Okay, coming to the next round, the first round. So can you tell a little more? little bit more you mentioned the questions uh but mm -hmm. like something oh. uh first round i think quickly we jumped into one binary search on answers question like, like there's a whole section of binary search on answers in striver sheet and if you are uh, if you have done that then you are good to go uh and then uh there's one buy sell stocks uh buy sell stocks too if i remember 
where you have to calculate the maximum profit. And if you know the catch of that question, that question is very easy. One mistake I did was like I told him the maximum optimized approach the beginning only, but I think he was okay with it. And post that, he asked me questions regarding my projects and my internship. Okay, so how long was the round? This round was around uh, 20 minutes. The first round was around 20 minutes. Okay, that's super fast, I would say, because like two questions plus a few more questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was it was more of a screening round, you know, that I haven't faked in my resume or something like that is. Understood. And then like on the same day, you had the second round. And uh, how yes. was the second round? The second round was tough. Second round, uh, he asked me three DP questions. There's one ninja training question in Striver sheet only. It is on 2D DP. Uh, you have to calculate the maximum training points that he can score. And that's a good question, I'd say. And then uh, buy and sell stocks with cooldown, he asked me. So that's, I think, buy, sell stocks four or five under the Striver sheet only. And one more binary search on answers question where I had to like work my way through the uh, answer, like first figure out that, okay, binary search is there. And then how did I come up with the fact that binary search is being applied? And the interviewer was also like uh, questioning what I was thinking. And that's what, that's how I practiced to tell him everything that I'm thinking and every approach that's there in my mind. So that was a very long round. BSA only, there were three to four questions. And then uh, he asked me questions uh, regarding my project and my resume. A lot of questions. Uh, like I have worked on Node SDKs. So he asked, he, he, uh, one thing I've seen in Fresher's role is they, they expect you to explain all the jargons that you throw at them. So he started with what is Node, what is SDK, and then what I was doing. He asked me about some error codes and some errors and how I handled them, the problems that I had. That was very uh, resume intensive. Uh, and that was a very long round. Like basically they grilled you on your projects in resume or uh, like tech stack also. Yeah. And uh, there was one uh, in this round, he asked me one uh, SQL. Uh, he, he asked me to write one SQL query also, which was uh, regarding joins, if I remember. Okay. I think inner join and he, I, I wasn't, I, I will not say that it was, it was very difficult, but, uh, it wasn't like very easy either. Like you had to figure out which join is he, oh, which join will be needed here and just one query and he was okay with it. And what happened after this round? Like, yeah, so I, I would say first half of this round went on for like around one hour and first half was majorly this questioning and then second half was uh, my projects and my tech stack on which i have worked and then the third round there was a very small chill talk like we were discussing uh, what 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 will be the project that i'll be working under and the tech stack that i am expected to learn i or i just i just framed that question in a way ki, if i get selected what do you expect me to know so he was just talking about the tech stack and the perks that the company is offering and the new office so by uh, back then they didn't start working from office. I think the company was completely work from home. Now there's a hybrid work culture. They shifted to their offices in May, March, and this interview happened in January. So yeah. Okay, so there there was a third round also, but it was like HR sort of like not HR hiring manager. I mean, no, in I this this interview only. I, I split this interview into three rounds. The second round. There were three phases. So in the last phase, we were talking about uh, the company culture and the perks. That's when I asked him, will I get food? And he said, yes, two times a day. <laughs> I think, yeah, that's an important question. So you are getting food. So I think yeah, that's, so that's very important. The company, is it? I should not be hungry while that's, working. That's legit. I think productivity not increases, but your motivation to go to the office definitely increases. Yeah. So, and then finally you got the result. Yeah. So, one, one thing I really liked about them is, uh, majorly companies come on campus and then they give a, a placement talk where they market their companies to like 200 people. And then they take like five people out of them. Mm -hmm. uh, but what they did was they selected the people. Uh, they expected us to know something about the company. And then finally, when we got selected, they called us to the college's ground. They took pictures with us and, uh, a small talk on what the company does actually like a very good placement talk uh, on what the company does that i really liked 
कि ये उन्हीं को बता रही कंपनी क्या करती है हु आर गोइंग टू वर्क इन द कंपनी सो आई वुड से दैट स्पेशली फॉर दिस कंपनी लाइक फ्रॉम व्हाट आई हैव गैदर्ड इज लाइक यू नीड टू नो एसक्यूएल यू नीड टू नो द एमएस वेल एंड यू आल्सो नीड टू नो योर रिज्यूमे एंड ऑफ कोर्स टीएसए बट फॉर एनीथिंग स्पेशल लाइक यू मेंशन बाइनरी सर्च वाज आस्क्ड अ लॉट एंड यू नो लाइक द बाय सेल स्टॉक वाज आस्क्ड सो do you think like this is the pattern that they ask these questions more or is it just no 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 uh, i was asked dynamic programming because i think first my interview was very late at night so uh, they started with linked list and trees also like people were being asked uh, questions from linked list and trees also i think somehow my interview was at night and dynamic programming is you know the last topic mostly that you do in your dsa journey uh, so yeah I think that's why I was asked um, mostly dynamic programming questions. Also, there were mentions of competitive programming on my resume. So, so that's why. How did you prepare for this company, especially for the online assessment and the DSA rounds, etc.? I would say the love bubbles, uh, like because I was an electronics student, so I had to cover operating systems and DVMs. So there's this love bumper, uh, some twenty thirty hour long uh, video on DVMs and operating systems. if you go through them and you make notes uh both of these videos help me uh not not love babbar like from under his channel but this video has been shot by some other guy okay i, I guess it should be code help uh, channel right uh, uh, code help channel but uh, the guy teaching is not love babbar uh, like if you have time i would suggest you to go through the 450 questions sheet of striver it actually helps uh start from binary search go to binary search on answers linked list trees and dynamic programming graphs i think only my uh, one friend was asked graphs questions from graphs but they didn't ask graphs much anything else that comes to your mind like especially for this company if uh, you know something that one should keep in mind if they want to crack this company interviews in general i would say uh, don't uh, brag on your resume uh be like go through your resume uh, you know very very well manner because he can just pick any single word from your resume and ask questions regarding that and you don't want to get stuck on that uh, also what many people do is they mention all the subjects that they have taken throughout their college and they just put it in the resume you don't want to do that trust me put the subjects that you are okay with if being asked about you can answer Uh, I remember one of my friends put, I think, discrete mathematics in his resume, and the interview did not go very well. Now, uh, also, there's this one very common technique of you mentioning things in your answers, from which questions can be framed. The next question can be framed, so you do mention those very specific things very clearly. So that actually helps in uh, tailoring your interview the way you want. got it so if you want to talk about a project uh, that's good and you are you know well versed with it then do mention it in your intro probably so that you yeah. get asked do mention it and while you are answering uh, anything about that project so let's say if you are good with uh, tokenization or uh, jwt tokens or whatever you you go on to mention that if he goes on to question you on that you can answer and that that means only mention things that you can answer that you have worked on and uh, do mention things that you can answer these two things actually help in an interview yeah that is correct because uh, even i was like i had once mentioned python in my languages so i was asked to you know write just some random code that had nested roots in python so they just wanted to test if i know python mm-hmm. and although i had forgotten the syntax but you know it sort of helped because i had actually done python so i you know yeah, yeah. if you will i then uh, and even in my case i had uh, interview with oracle and i did not know my sql very well so i said that you know i don't know the syntax and i would say that it's better to just be honest than you know make try to do something on the spot exactly maybe. exactly mai mere ek dost ko pucha ki kuch to coding ka pucha tha ki which which uh, which language do you prefer and he said sql <laughs> <laughs> then then what happened i mean he didn't he didn't get the offer but I, like the i think uh, putting your uh, resume once in chat gpt also helps because like he he'll tell you most of the questions that can be asked so like my node sdk the language was typescript so this very common question but it's okay to like go through it once like why why typescript why not javascript what is the difference and how are they different how different are they these questions just going through them once and you can just figure out your way in the interview so i guess that's it for the interview uh 
for the interview okay. i guess that's it for the video uh, so yeah i guess then uh, and uh, if you guys have any more questions i think you can definitely ping shivam so i'll leave his linkedin in the description and uh, yeah and i also link all the resources mentioned so that if someone needs it i think they'll be helpful and thank you so much shivam for uh, making this video i am sure it's helpful to other people